Hello there, Sagittarius. This is a reading for the second half of May 2023. It's a love reading. <clears throat> okay, I think someone wants to speak. I'm ready for my voice getting scratchy. <clears throat> Boy. Oof. Okay. Take the lead. Okay. And teach. Take the lead and teach. Oh, wow. And rest and reconsider. So you're supposed to be teaching someone... <clears throat> This could be really a teacher, or this could be something that you're supposed to teach others. You might, some of you are healers, and you're supposed to teach others. Some of you have crafts, or you have some kind of ability, some kind of healing abilities. You're supposed to teach others. <clears throat> so take the lead here. You might need to also um, rest and reconsider something that's coming up for you. Um, we have the base chakra. This is your root chakra. This is, you know, a need to be grounded. This is, um... The, your material um, aspects. This is how you make your money. This is, you know, what makes you feel safe, secure. Okay, so your root chakra. Focusing on that. Maybe opening that up. Maybe that is opening at this time. Okay, let's see what do we have going on for you. I feel something about you're building a strong foundation. You might be really focusing on your money at this time. Okay, this is also, you know, what you own, your possessions. Okay, let's see. The work card. I think this this card I think came up in almost every reading. And something about time, work, this eight of pentacles. And then we have the death card. Okay, Scorpio energy. So this could be something that has come to end. This is also rebirth. This is this is endings new beginnings something rebirthing something coming back around this is also major transformation you might be going through a major change a major transformation with your work okay queen of pentacles absolutely that's with the queen of pentacles focusing on your mind the root chakra you are focusing on your money this time so this is why they say maybe if you need some making some extra money maybe you should have some classes teach some classes teach some classes at your home go to a place where whatever your um, craft is and you know say hey I'll, I'll teach you know this could be a high school um this could also be it say if it's a um, metaphysical this could be teaching whatever you know there to doing um, little workshops something online okay let's see queen of pentacles this is yeah there's a major transition you're going through here major change major expect to see or feel things there's um i'm also getting someone's these flashes like you're seeing maybe flashes out of the corner of your eye spirits around you and you're not really realizing also you say what was that i just saw something it's probably spirit someone's you're probably your third eye is beginning to open or there's someone trying to contact you and starting to um help you to develop a skill there as far as your intuition queen of pentacles let's see yeah, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But I do feel like it's your energy we're focusing in on. Options, choices. This woman here picks a cup. And she's not happy about the cup she picks. So I almost feel like someone took something. Someone picked something. This could be, say you had um, different choices in love. You picked someone and you say, you know, I really know. I don't want this. I don't want this. But you had to take it for whatever reason, or you felt you had to take it, maybe to make someone else happy, maybe because of the family or circumstances or something. You, it feels like you picked an option that you really were not happy about. It's not your first choice. It was what you felt you had to do. And we have here's a key. Here's working together as a team. Okay, you are balancing things out here. This is, here we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, plus the Queen of Pentacles. You are very much focused on your money, on your um, building your wealth here. And we have the Moon. There might be something hidden here. Pisces Energy. Secrets. I feel like you did not speak up when something here. 
and we have and there, now you're thinking about whether or not you want to put time and effort into something you're really looking it over maybe it's to be in a partnership a team there's a key here there's some kind of knowledge that you're gaining you need to balance something out though with the two of pentacles here maybe you're trying to keep your life in balance but it's, it feels a little chaotic at times because you maybe you're trying to do different things that are not helping you it's not it's not allowing you to do things at the time that you want to do it. It's sort of like throwing you off, making you run behind schedule. There's something here that feels like it's really throwing you off here. But you're going to balance things out. The moon, something hidden, emotions, some kind of secret, fear. Okay, let's clarify. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The mice. Someone's stealing your time. Someone is monopolizing your time. Someone is, um, you feel scattered. You feel people are just taking at, taking little bits and pieces of you and you can't seem to get them back or you can't seem to get something back. I don't know what this about, but that's the energy I'm feeling. Something to do with your work, something to do with the time of work. Something, maybe people are, are taking you away from you doing your projects and they're asking you for help or you're getting put on other people's projects or helping others and that's making you behind in your projects, which is making you freaking batty, um, which I understand completely. But it feels like with the mice... The mice is usually someone stealing. There's a loss. There's a theft. There's small bites. There's stress, damage, costly repairs to something at work or something you had to work on or something you have to work on. And it has something to do with the time too. Now what about the death card here? You're going through a major change, major transformation. We have clover. There's going to be something lucky coming in for you, a lucky period, a lucky time. Queen of Pentacles. See, abundance is coming in. Keep up. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going through a major transformation, a transition here. You're tapping into your intuition, too. So this is a... You might be also coming into a very um, spiritual soul connection. And this is bringing you in harmony. And it's also... This is... Um, there's going to be a flow. There's going to be more of a flow with your resources, with your money, with your business. And what about this Seven of Cups? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Lady. So either you're the Lady or there's a Lady come into your life here. Options. I think someone picked the wrong person as far as their love connection. Or someone could even be sad that their person, If I'm thinking that this is a female. This could also be a male here. It, it could be any gender. There could have been, this one could be sad because maybe they're their guy picked someone else and it had could have something to do with the family with the, with a partnership with something that had to be and they had no choice what about the three of pentacles the garden oh so this is nice i like the garden because this could be you might be building a team on the internet um also maybe on, on social media that you're building something here that you're coming together with others that are like-minded it feels to me like um, your networking is working, it's meetings, it's parties, it's gatherings, it's events, it's um, getting together with others, maybe even in the park, but it feels like you're doing something to bring your yin and yang together here to, to make yourself feel more whole because I feel like you're scattered. Okay, let's see. The key, here's the key to be in balance. It's very important. This is the key gives you the ability to open doors it also gives you the ability to close doors that you don't want open or you don't want others coming through so you have access to keeping out who you don't want out and you have also access to get through doors that maybe you didn't have access to before this is um answers discovery something being revealed here what about the moon because we also have this hidden energy here so what's about this moon the tower. There might be something hidden as far as within a corporation, um, an institution, uh, organization, um, government, higher education, higher learning. Also with the tower, the tower could be for someone being single or it could be someone very controlling, like a controlling lover. This also could be emotional distance. It could be boundaries that are hidden 
I mean, you're aware of them. And maybe the person that's doing it is aware of them. I don't think other people are. It's like this is done in such a way that if you were to say something, they'll say, oh, you're crazy. So, so and so wouldn't do that. That type of energy. Um, here we have the writers. Message coming to you. This is fast approaching. Someone's coming in real quick. It's going to get in and out. So you might find out something really quick or someone might want to get a message to you. There's news coming, though. Whatever way you look at it, there is news coming. It could be a new lover. But whatever it is, is a situation situation arriving quickly. That's all, but it could be a new lover. Let's see. We have here the King of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Fool. The Hierophant. Justice. And the Wheel of Fortune. I love it. Okay. Bottom deck, we have strength. You are strong enough. Don't think you're not. You're able to get through whatever is going on right now. It might feel a little chaotic. It might feel a little like overwhelming at times. But you're going to get through this. Now, the King of Swords. Seriously, for Gemini Energy. We have here the fish. Look at this flow of abundance. You know what I got with this? You know, it almost feels like there's going to be more. Like there's there's going to be more abundance. Something, this is plentiful is what I'm getting. You know, it's, it's, I'm getting that, you know, if if you, you know, teach someone to fish, you know, they'll, they'll know how to. So this is again with teaching. It's like you need to teach someone and teaching someone how to do something is going to bring more and more and more people are going to be able to do something that you know how to do or that you're very good at and that's going to help on a whole everyone here king of swords um, aquarius libra gemini energy you're very intelligent now this could be energy coming towards you this could be someone wanting to help you this could be someone coming from the past come back in now this could be someone that you know from this life but it doesn't have to be it could be someone from a past life that is entering your life at this time to help you achieve what you're supposed to do because this is a new beginning again the hierophant teach you know, we have the tower here. That could be higher learning, institution, teach. You know, there's something about you taking the lead, being a good leader, teaching someone something, bring it injustice into the world. This is not, you know, a little thing. This is not just teaching a couple people. This is like spreading out. This is like teaching the masses, teaching, you know, it's going to spread. It might start small. You know, everything starts small. But eventually it can, you know get large here so the this is saying that you have the intelligence here you're also going to have someone come around you that has a lot of intelligence this could be someone that is actually could be um a love connection Aquarius Libra Gemini doesn't have to be it's just saying that this person is very knowledgeable very intelligent again something from the past six of cups come back around this could be a person a situation you might have had um offered before or had an opportunity to teach before or do something before and it wasn't the right time for you but now it's coming back around take the leap of faith um aries aquarius energy then we have the hierophant which is taurus energy this is you learning you this is um gaining knowledge um, i will not be surprised that the book doesn't come out in the lenormand um but yeah so this is gaining knowledge teaching this is also commitment higher learning very conventional too structured then we have justice things will balance out and we have the wheel of fortune divine timing destiny and you have the strength to accomplish whatever we need to accomplish here let's see what else we get here for you guys sagittarius the king of swords let's see the book see right with the the most intelligent sign it um is a, the air signs here so we have the book the learning the mystery the knowledge the unknown I'm also getting that other people don't know what you know. And it will help for them to know. For you to teach. The mystery. The secrets. The knowledge. What you have. What you have learned. The um, This also could be that you sh you're supposed to be writing a book. A manuscript. It's, um, you have a lot of knowledge. You're very intelligent. You have a lot of knowledge. And you know, a lot of times we go through what we, ha we go through... For a purpose, so that we can grow. It's something. It's part of our path. It's part of what we're meant to do here. And even when we go through the rough times, you're going to find out that whatever you went through in the past, whatever was really hard, 
was something to bring you to this place to be able to teach someone. Could we learn by our our experiences, good and bad? Okay, I think we learn probably more from the tough ones. Okay, let's see. The Six of Cups. The Fox. This could also... Fox could also represent something with work. This is cunning, sly. It's um, devious, manipulator. But this... But for me, I just feel like you're going to find a way to do what you need to do. I feel like you're very, very smart. You're, you know, look, we have the King of Swords, we have the book and the Fox. I mean, and also maybe things that you went through in the past with the Six of Cups is was why you're gaining this knowledge to be able to do what you need to do here. To find a way. It almost seems like if you had hidden information that needs to get out to the world, but no one wants it to come out. Because, you know, it will affect what other people are trying to do. And this is better for the world. It'll be like you have to do it in a very sly, sneaky way. Okay, what about the fool here? Flowers. A new beginning. Okay, so I like the flowers coming in. Because this is a gift coming to you. A gift of appreciation. There might be a bonus surprise. And it's also a happy, blossoming friendship. Or love connection here with the fool. What about the hierophant? This commitment. And we have the snake. You're going to have people jealous of your capabilities. Of what you know. Um, I feel like this is more of an envious, jealous type of... Um, you know, maybe people might not might distrust what you're trying to do. But we have the hierophant. That's the Pope. <laughs> so, um, it's more of a... a if it's on more of a spiritual nature, other that don't believe in your uh, beliefs are going to not like it. Okay, what about the justice here? The letter. Information, communication. There, you're going to find out something. Someone's going to, you're going to get some kind of form of letter maybe coming in the mail. Could be an email. I mean, it could be a phone call too. But there's some kind of communication coming in for you. It's a, It could be a written word. It could be a, a, a record. Of something, a text, a communication, any kind of information. And it's going to bring in a balance, going to bring in justice. Could also bring in a contract. What about the Wheel of Fortune? Stars, look at this. You might become really famous from what, you're, what you need to do here. So don't be afraid of that. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the stars. The stars is like, you know, you're shining bright. You're, um, it's like your wish fulfillment. It also could be for a soulmate. It's good luck is navigation too with the stars direction you're being shown it's destiny this is whatever you're doing here is destined this could be a destined love a destined career a, a destined um can't think of the word vocation you know that's what that's what's coming in for you and then on the bottom deck we have the rider again there is news coming to you. Expect to have some good news come to you. And it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you feel more empowered. Leo energy. Okay, so um, let me do the tea leaves. For Sagittarius. So it almost feels like you're the chosen one here. Okay, let's see. We have here funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Yeah, it will be frustrating at first because, you know, as you're trying to do something that we need, that the, you know, the universe needs, that, that, um, there's going to be some someone trying to block you. So it's going to be frustrating, but you'll push through. You got the strength card and a camel, persevere, and you will overcome the problem. See, just hang in there because spirit has your back. You're getting help from the divine. Just realize that it might be tough. I mean, Anything really was worthwhile and major breakthroughs was usually somebody always tried to stop it. Fair man. Dealings over relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So you could deal with some, a male with light colors, light features, light hair. Okay, well then we have flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Okay. I don't have to explain that one. Let's see. We have here fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. This is you. You're gonna get through. You got the fox here twice because you're very cunning and you're gonna you're gonna find a way. You're gonna find a way to get around things that are trying to block you. Crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Look at that. We have Wheel of Fortune, we have the stars, and we have honor and respect. Okay, the bottom deck we have here. 
older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Okay. Well, you're going to be dealing with a lot of different people. All right, guys. Let's see what the word is. Stay grounded, though. If you need to, I mean, because I feel like spirit is coming into you. You might feel a little lightheaded at times, maybe dizzy. It, because of spirit coming into you and, and um, providing you with information. And like I say, you might be seeing things or feeling things. So go out, hug a tree, sit on the grass, ground yourself. Okay, TikTok, tower, together. Okay, someone feels like they're running out of time. We started that right here with work. So someone feels like they're missing an opportunity, running out of time, and they want to be with you. They're trying to come in here. They might surprise you. Um, Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Okay. What about this king of swords? Lying. Phone call. Love. Okay, so you're going to receive some phone call from someone or some kind of communication someone's going to contact you um a love call but they might be lying about something okay that's not going to be for everyone so just only take it if it resonates with you if you know what that's all about okay let's see what signs you could be dealing with sagittarius what are the signs we have aries scorpio scorpio I definitely got that transformation. Aries, wow. Look at this. I'm looking at these as the sign itself. What you know, the cards that belong to these signs. Aries is an emperor, the leader. You're meant to lead. Scorpio, a major transformation. Let's see what else we get. Cancer. And Virgo. So Cancer could also be that, you know, that tapping into your intuition and also with you know Virgo here. So a major tap into the intuition. Okay, um, I want to say something. Oh, yeah. And so, I mean, it is a love reading. But you know what? The love could be for humanity. The love could be for teaching. The love could be to, for doing what you need to do here. I think love is coming in too. But first, you have to focus on what you need to do here. Because it almost feels like you have a calling here that you have to um, answer. Okay, let's see. And then love will come. But first, you have lots of times we have to do things on our own first. W, L, N, W, Z, P, S, U, G, A, I. Okay, so letters we have here today are W, L, N. W Z P S U G A I. Okay, now let's get some names. What names want to come out? Like Eleven or more names. Can we jump? Yeah, one jump. Pull some out. Okay, so we have Conrad. K O N R A D. Beth. Capri, Martina, Sonia, S-O-N-I-A, we have Shane, S-H-A-N-E, um, Corin, K-O-R-R-Y-N, Austin, A-U-S-T-E-N, Sergio, Melissa, Soraya, S-O-R-A-Y, S O R A Y A, Sharice, C H R E E C E, Sunitha, S U N I T H A, and Brittany. Okay, so we have here 14. Okay. <clears throat> now remember, guys, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. Only takes what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you never felt like you really want, you had to teach, or there's something that you should spread the word, or there's something that you should help others with, then this probably reading's not for you. But I do think it is for a lot because there's time that we have to we have to help heal the world and everybody has their own special part they have to do and have to contribute here. All right. So, guys, um, if this does not resonate with you, check out your other placements. Your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign might resonate with you more at this time. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.